da 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 um pam pam. Tu 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 tu. Da 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 pam pam. Hi guys, and welcome to my last few streams of the year and we're gonna start in a very epic way with the world's longest haul of 2020 30,000 kilometers <laughs> this isn't gonna be done in one day let me just make that very very clear this is gonna take a week do not expect me to be sitting here for I don't know 40 hours straight <laughs> I'm too old uh, we're about to start, and um, I just want to say hi. Uh, I really look forward to this, I really have. And it's finally happening. We just have one last thing to do, and we'll start very, very soon. And I'll see you in, I don't know, two minutes. it is hi guys <laughs> i couldn't find the buttons <laughs> oh, i haven't done a live stream in almost two weeks this has been two insane weeks uh, we have a helicopter here somewhere uh that's bloody annoying uh never mind that helicopter merry merry christmas everyone i hope you had a fantastic christmas eve christmas day uh it's the 27th today so it's been two or three because here in Sweden, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th, not on the 25th. So for, for us, it's been three days. Now it's been two days for the rest of you. Uh, I hope you had a fantastic one. I certainly did. Uh, for once, for the first time ever, really, I actually got to spend the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day with my kids only. Uh, thanks to COVID-19, I couldn't uh, celebrate it with the rest of my family, which we always do. Uh, we always travel to Norway, uh, where my parents, my sister and the rest of my family lives uh, for either Christmas or for, for the new year. Not going to happen this year. Uh, we're staying at home, so just the three of us this year, and it was epic. I just loved every minute of it, and I hope you had just as a fantastic Christmas as I had. Uh, I'm not going to do this with... Jesus Christ, that's going to be very hot. Ugh. Uh, but I tried. I tried. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Mad Max, Jake Smith, Live on Tropics, Toby, Huck, Colt, Iron Mahjong, uh, Olaf, uh, Pa, uh, who else? Uh, Piotr GT, uh, Toby, uh, Fringe Gay Man. 
Did I pronounce that correctly? I hope so. Free Fire, uh, Papa Dex, uh, Walter, uh, Van der Hulst, uh, X Rex Gamer, Joshua, Ben Wilson, and all the rest of you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I made a skin for this haul. I know I'm horrible at this, but here's my skin for this world's longest haul. I hope you're okay with it, and I hope you're okay with my choice of truck for this thing. I figured I needed a pretty big cab because we're gonna do 30,000. Let's let's have a look at it. It's 30,288 kilometers. It's gonna take us about 435 hours and 10 minutes. 10 minutes, uh, sure, uh, to complete the haul. Uh, let's have a look at the map. We're gonna start here, and here it says to 30,287, so I guess the GPS can't really make up its mind. I don't think one kilometer one or the other way is going to make much of a difference anyway, but sure. Uh, we're going to start here in uh, Vladivostok. And this is North Korea down here. Uh, never mind the scale. The scale is very different. Uh, we're going to haul through Eastern Express uh, up to Moscow. Continue on down to Brest. Uh, and down to Calais. Then we're going to take the only ferry we have here down to... It's not San Gregorio. It is San Gregorio. And then we're going to haul all the way up through South America. Uh, there might be a tiny little surprise over here, by the way. All the way up to, obviously, then Moron. Of course, we're going to have to do this all the way to Moron. Where else? Uh... <laughs> On a journey like this. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh, who said this is going to be an 8 to 10 hour drive? You're way off, buddy. At best, this is a journey that we will complete in 30 hours. At best. Probably more like 40 hours. Because 30 hours is really only based on the fact that you're able to do around 1,000 kilometers per hour, IRL hour. Uh, and this is going to take way longer than that. Papa Dex, thank you very much for the 100 bits there. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, this is gonna, probably going to be 40 hours, not 30. And there's two reasons for that. First one is that Eastern Express is not a 1 to 19 scale map. It is a 1 to 15-ish scale so the almost 15,000 kilometers we're going to do here uh, equals around 20,000 kilometers in time uh, on a 1 to 19 scale map so 15,000 kilometers on eastern express is probably going to take around 20 hours to complete then we are not going to be able to be very quick about it in a lot of places not only on eaa but also on eastern express because we're hauling 47 tons uh on a low boy even so it's, it's gonna be heavy despite me using a 730 a uh, torpedo obviously so this is gonna take quite a long time will i be driving through holland <clears throat> Seriously, legit, Rob, do we really care about Holland at this point <laughs> already? Uh, no, I will not. <laughs> Germany and France and Belgium. Um, I haven't selected the route at all. This is just the game selecting it. As you can see, I have not added uh, any, any route points or anything like that. This is a naturally created hall. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> you do care, Huck? Of course you do. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> ah, let's get it started. Uh, I sh will also mention that uh, for this haul, I will be doing around three hours per session. We're going to do two sessions today. This is part one, so at six o'clock tonight, which is in five hours, we will do part two for another three hours. Um, let's get her started. And then uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to work. Unfortunately, 
which means that we will only do one session tomorrow and that will be at six o'clock and this is central european time of course so in 29 hours we will then do part three uh, then we're gonna do the same thing on tuesday and on wednesday uh, which is the 30th by the way and then on new year's eve on thursday we will do two more parts at least uh, i'm estimating this hall to take around 40 hours to complete so with one session per day it's going to take 10 days uh, i don't want to do more than 10 days so um, i'm gonna say that we will do as many double uh, streams two streams per day as possible so that we hopefully can complete this haul before the 5th of January. That is how long it's going to take. <laughs> uh, work is very unfortunate, but Jesus, is that helicopter going to follow us all the way? Hopefully not. I guess we got a lot of media attention for this all. That's probably why we have that helicopter there. Uh, I will admit that I have looked forward to this with both excitement and fear. <laughs> this is the third year we're doing the world's longest haul. Two years ago we did the first one with the bridge that a few of you have talked about here. Uh, I will never ever ever use that bridge again for something like this. Lesson learned. Um, that haul was only 19,900 kilometers or so, which at the time was the longest long haul we could possibly do. Lots have ch happened since then. Last year, the long haul was 20, I think it was 26,000 kilometers. And this year, more than 30,000 kilometers. Which kind of says a lot about how much this game has developed over the years. <laughs> I'll try <laughs> to follow the GPS properly this time. Um, there's not only the risk of having a way longer haul than we really want it to be. <laughs> uh, there's also the risk of me damaging the truck or the cargo. Um, I mean, just the fact that we're going to haul this thing 30,000 kilometers, if I do not stuff and do repairs for at least tire wear, we're going to have probably around, I don't know. Uh, thank you very much, Legit Rob, for subscribing uh, to Twitch. Uh, we're probably going to end up with around 100% damage to the truck. And Adrian, thank you very much for hosting my stream. Uh, because tire wear, well, the tires won't last more than, uh, more than um, 30,000 kilometers anyway. So we will probably see, thank you very much Calvinator for subscribing to me on, on uh, Twitch. And of course to Legit Rob for gifting five subs. Thank you very, very much uh, Legit Rob. Uh, let's see, I don't want to get lost here. Uh, this is going to be a... Yeah, I'm going to have to change lanes. There we go. And to those of you who are taking advantage of uh, Legit Rob's giveaways, thank you very, very much, every one of you. Um, where was I? Yeah, tire wear. So I expect us to see quite a lot of damage. Uh, but that is hopefully only going to be tire wear. My plan is... Korea, thank you very much for once again subscribing to me on YouTube, uh, on Twitch. And Alexandre, thank you very much for following me on Twitch as well. You guys are awesome! Uh, I'm gonna try not to put up any more goals for Twitch. I'll just say that we are currently at 1,055 followers. And this is the second month, I guess, of Twitch. So, good progress, I guess. 
Adrian, thank you very much for subscribing for two months. Uh, Tiger Rare is probably going to be around 100% when we reach Moron. That is my plan. Uh, and I'm not going to be worried about things looking grim regarding um, damage to the truck. The truck there, the truck symbol there, will probably be completely red by the time we reach Moron. Which isn't going to be a problem at all, as long as it's just tire wear. Adrian, your Gee, dude, thank you so much, buddy, for gifting 10 subscriptions. Thank you very, very much. You, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what's happening on Twitch? Well, we're seeing a... Uh, uh, oh. uh, just a hype. <laughs> hype train level 5 going on on, on uh, Twitch. I kind of wish that uh, YouTube have so had something similar to this. Uh, it makes the stream feel way more alive. Uh, in my opinion, at least. And we just started. Uh, this is truly the best community ever. And I hope we will see a lot of people following this long haul because I can't really see how we're gonna do, be able to top this next year, if ever. Uh, Trucking Aman, thank you very much for gifting a Tire 1 sub to Kalendra. Appreciate it. Uh, what you missed, Super Rabbit? Uh, not a lot yet. We haven't made it very far. Uh, 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 thank you, uh, Adrian, for another 500 bits. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I have created this. Let's see if it works. It kind of works. So now you can see the map there. Uh, that's the hall. So instead of me having to stop every time someone wants to see the map, I'm just going to pull that one up because we're going to have to spend some time uh, hauling here if we're about to get anywhere today. Uh, since this is, again, a 1 to 15-ish uh, scale map, don't expect us to make a ton of progress uh, for this first part of it. Uh, XRX Gamer, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Thank you to those others who have gifted subs and subscribed and started following me and all that. I probably missed a lot of it. But to every single one of you, thank you very, very much. Rappa Kimple, <laughs> you too. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try to keep an eye on the road as well. Uh, it is not possible to zoom the map out like that, Sorex. Uh, what I've done is I've just stitched a lot of images together. That's how I make it. Yeah, oh! Do you know what? I'm going to stick to the uh, left lane instead of the right lane for this. I think that will work better. There might be a mod that allows you to have the map over over everything like that. Um, but not the entire map, uh, I guess. Uh, O2Lucky666, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. And to VigP72, thank you very much as well. And to Adrian again for the gifted subs. Did I forget anyone? I hope not. If I did, I do apologize. <laughs> well, we are hauling, uh, after all, uh, 47 tons there. Uh, I just have to uh, keep an eye on the road. Um, and everything should be fine. Let's see, we're allowed to do 90, and I should do 90. So let's see if we can speed it up. 
Uh, Obshog, Slabby, thank you very much. I'm gonna need it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I will need it. Uh, this hall is... Yeah, I guess it's gonna be the longest haul I've ever done. Uh, closest thing ever was about a year ago. Uh, Olaf, thank you very, very much for the five euros there. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I should also say thank you very much to Nitro the Dingo who gifted me uh, two US dollars um, uh, prior to the live stream starting actually. He wanted me to use a straight pipe V8 for this. I hope the sound mod I'm using is okay. Uh, Lucy666, I'm doing fantastic! And I guess, as the traditions says... This is, after all, kind of part of the tradition to have a crash at the very beginning of all my live streams, because I'm a fucking idiot. Already. What a fucking idiot I am. I mean, seriously. I'm so disappointed in myself now. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what to say now. Bremer, thank you very much for the 35 krona. I'm gonna buy myself a beer, I think. <laughs> I'm such a... F Moron, I am. I'm definitely going home. Too moron. Right, we're gonna limp to uh, the nearest... No, I didn't... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to find F7. There it is. Fantastic. 9% damage to the trailer, 3% damage to the cargo. I don't really care that much about the truck just yet. Um, I will have to do some repairs. Uh, Korea, I certainly do not deserve it, but thank you very much for gifting a sub there to Lucy. Um, I'm not really sure we've ever done anything as bad as this for a start. Not even the bridge was this bad. I mean, I think we were doing fine for at least the first hour when we were holding the bridge. <sighs> I'm not satisfied with myself. I'm more angry than I'm sad, though, which I guess is good. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Exterior, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. I'm not holding the bridge. <laughs> um, I guess it wouldn't have mattered at all whether I hold the bridge or anything else. I would have crashed anyway. Uh, well, the whole two years ago, the bridge there, it ended up with me having to change trucks. Um, I have put a link to it in YouTube, in the video description, to uh, the um, 2080 long, 2018 long haul. Let's have a look at the map. I'm gonna have to go all the way to... Wow, yeah, to Dalnaresh to fix this. But I'm gonna have to fix it because there's no way I'll make it with 35% damage. There <laughs> 
Ah, oh, this is truly not the way I wanted to start this thing. Why? 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 I don't think I need a 360 horsepower engine for this. I just need better brakes and perhaps at least one eye on the road. An eye on the road would be nice. Oh, look at that. That's a repair shop. Lucky me. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Right. Service the damn thing. And get going again. Hopefully, when we reach Moron, we will have forgotten all about this. <laughs> and we're back on the road. Ah! It kind of spoils everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, what happens to a trailer with 100% damage? I probably should make a video on that. I'm pretty good at creating 100% damage to things. Uh, spoiler though, uh, nothing happens with 100% damage. You will, however, not get any XP or any money for the delivery of a completely broken cargo. So there's that, of course. But um, it's not going to be any more difficult hauling or getting to your destination if you have 100% damage to the... Thank you, Mr. Scania driver. Uh, you won't have any problem reaching your destination with 100% damage. Hi, Fred. Summer talk. <laughs> Good point, Summer talk. <laughs> oh, that's the oh. uh, I've decided I want a cab over instead of a torpedo, so smash it. And now my feet are part of the engine, which isn't good. I wasn't really paying attention. I need to pay more attention. Uh, I'm going to take the blame for that crash. I think I'm responsible for it. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Uh, I want to apologize while we're doing this. Not for the crash, I've already apologized for that. Uh, but for not being more uh, visible for the last couple of weeks. All of it's been down to the same thing. Uh, Wonk Tonk, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, the fact that I have been blessed with kids two weeks all by myself also means that I have almost had no time to my for myself uh, to do whatever I want to do so I've had very little time to spend online I spent most of the time with one of or both of my kids uh, so um, I do apologize for being more or less invisible for the last couple of weeks I'll make up on that now I'm gonna spend the next 10 days online every single day doing live streams. As soon as this is completed, the, there will be other live streams of other maps. Uh, it's been kinda Christmas in my email inbox as well. Uh, there's a couple of very interesting maps that I will show you um, as soon as we have completed this haul. Yeah, I'm very happy to see that at least some of you <laughs> agree with me on, on kids first and all that, family first. Um, especially in in the dark ages of 2020. Um, that is important. You never know what's going to happen. I'm glad they have started now spreading vaccines 
here in Sweden, uh, Scandinavia, Europe, around the globe. Uh, and I hope that will continue. Although it's going to take a very long time before everyone have the vaccine and we are al allowed to go outdoors again. Ah, thank you Thanos for posting my crash on Discord. <laughs> Dreaming with kids is not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I actually did that once. Um, but only once and um, uh, I was kind of nervous about it it was okay but my kids really didn't like it uh, Mr. McLovin thank you for following me on Twitch uh, so it's not something I'm gonna do a lot uh, maybe in the future I'm, maybe Definitely in the future I will, as the kids grow older. Uh, they might not want to spend as much time with their old father than they, as they currently do. My youngest is 10, so she's just fine spending time with me. It's not going to last forever. Uh, country uh, Moron <laughs> is uh, in Venezuela. It is a real town in Venezuela. Google it. Uh, it's probably not pronounced moron, and it probably means something else than moron. But I've just figured moron is such a fantastic name for a city. Obviously, we had to end the live stream in moron. Uh, so, um, yeah, Vladivostok to moron. Perfect. Maybe sometime next year we will have Eastern Express, including Probably not, but still, I kind of wish. Uh, North Korea. I mean, just south of Vladivostok, you do have North North Korea, not South Korea. Did I say South Korea? I meant North Korea. Uh, just south of Vladivostok, you do have North Korea. I kind of hope it will be added to Eastern Express in the future. I'd really love to haul there. I imagine the roads not being as great as this one is. Just we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Maybe someone could create a add-on for this map. Uh, PT, there's probably a moron in Mongolia as well. Um, but there is also one in Venezuela. Uh, use the English city names 10.10 uh, for Eastern Express. I don't use it and I don't have to. It is translated anyway. Um, so uh, no, I don't know why you have them in the in the uh, whatever language you have them. But again, I do not use the um, English city names file for Eastern Express. Eastern Express for one thirty nine includes English city names. Uh, there we go. You want to talk map combos, guys? You really want to do that? Uh, Lucy, yeah, this one goes all the way to Vladivostok. That's where we started. Combining it with uh, Project Japan isn't possible yet. Uh, I'm not sure it will be either because... Uh, Eastern Express is a 1 to 15 scale map. So it might interfere with the actual location of of uh, Project Japan when Project Japan becomes a add-on map. <laughs> you prefer the old design of the YouTube like button? Um, yeah, I kind of understand that. Uh, but I do like the new one as well. Uh, I also like the subscribe button. You, if you haven't tried the subscribe button and like button out on YouTube, I highly recommend pressing them once. Uh, Gurko, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. I also like the uh, uh, follow button on, on uh, Twitch. 
highly recommend that you press it once if you haven't done so already, uh, just to see what it does. Uh, yeah, I know Tenzin, and I think I did a video on uh, how to change. Maybe I didn't, uh, but I have added it, although there are quite a lot of problems. Uh, you can't make Project Japan a, a true add-on map just by changing it, uh, changing the MBD file to Europe. Uh, there's more to it than just that, unfortunately. Hi, Mad Max! Uh, Nister, thank you very much for subscribing on Twitch. And Eggman from Strasbourg. Thank you for being here. I'm not gonna go and... You know what? Let's do a quick change there, because there's no reason for me to go and repair my truck anymore. I've already done that. Sim Country Farming, welcome. And Merry Christmas to every single one of you. Um, I hope you'll be here until after uh, the New Year's Eve. We're going to do two live streams on New Year's Eve. Uh, New Year's Eve isn't going to be the same this year for any of us, I guess. And um, I'm fine with it because every second year I spend my New Year's Eve without kids and every second year I spend it without kids on Christmas Eve. So I have one of those to myself and that is when I do my live uh, World's Longest Haul thingy. And this time it's over New Year, so I have no plans whatsoever for New Year. I'm also 50, so I don't really care anymore. It's not very important for me to do any, um, go to any parties or things like that. I'm too old anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you're not allowed to go to the hairdressers, so that's why you're staying at home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard about that, uh, Nister. I saw a documentary, or at least on the news, about um, uh, India's shutdown. No tourists. It is, of course, devastating for the economy, but, well, it's COVID-19, the year of COVID-19, so what are you going to do? Um, as you can see, haircuts isn't impossible to, to do here in Sweden either, and that's why my hair is this long. <laughs> you shouldn't really complain about not being able to go to the hairdressers soon enough you will have no hair <laughs> uh, Vince uh, Moron is in Venezuela yes I did dye my hair sorry not my hair my beard had to do that, it was getting very grey. Um, I've also decided that I will not cut my beard anymore uh, for the next six months or so. Um, at least not until I have my vaccine. Um, and you need two shots of the vaccine, by the way. Uh, after the first one, I think you have to wait four weeks and then you get a second shot. Uh, at least that's the procedure here in Sweden. Uh, and uh, it's probably going to take six months or so before I get my shot. So um, the beard should be down here somewhere. You can't see my hand, can you? No, you can't. Uh, it's it's going to be long. <laughs> I've never had a long beard in my entire life. This is time for it. I should have started a year ago. Why I dyed my beard? Uh, 
because it's completely gray and makes me look old. Uh, if I dye it, I, it makes me look at least 10 years younger. That's why I did it, and that's why I will do it again. If all the maps appear 45 degrees turn, Pascal, it's not a problem, uh, really. It's just that you have your map orientation in the game settings wrong. So make it, I think you need to make it flat or uh, always north instead. And that would straighten the map out. Nister, I'm 49. So uh, show some respect there. I'm not 70. I'm not Bengen, you know. Leaving it grey, black is confusing. Um, I still have a life outside this game, so um, I find dating to be quite a lot easier when my beard is black rather than grey. So um, there's that. If I color it red, I will look 40 years younger. No, I will not. I'll just look Scottish. I'm not from Scotland. <laughs> uh, Jackal, uh, thank you very much for subscribing on Twitch. And of course, Korea, thank you very much for gifting that subscription. And to Nister as well, I see. Uh, Korea, thank you very, very much for that. It's a fact, all Scots have a uh, red beard, or at least 95% of them. Ah, uh, the Scots are now gonna kill me. <laughs> I'd look like a Weasley. <laughs> ah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it black. Or as black as I can. I mean, it's been a week now and you can already see that parts of it is showing up as grey because it's it's grown, not a lot, but say this much uh, in the last week or so. So um, I have this much grey slash white beard. Uh, road connection to pro mods, uh, David. Why? Uh, you need one. I think there's one that is required for EA 6.0 to Rust map, but not for pro mods, I think. I can't honestly remember because I haven't looked at my uh, global map combo for 139 including EAA and, and Ross um, in more than two weeks now. Uh, but I did check a couple of days ago to see if there was a new version of Promsona yet. There isn't or there wasn't. Um, so I have no new map combo, global map combo for you. Hi, Quentin. There is a new version of Promsomina now. Oh, there you go. So there it is. Which I guess then brings us to the second problem. Um, which I really don't want to spend a lot of time talking about just yet. Um... Uh, but there is a few um, legal issues with creating map combos right now. Um, they are being looked into by a law firm. And hopefully I will have more answers for you, perhaps tomorrow actually. Let's just say that right now I have no map combo planned for release as a video, is what I'm going to say. Uh, 
And Red Sea has been released. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a video on that as well. It came out on the 25th. <laughs> I, th I think actually, I, so that's two days ago. I think I ch checked it on the 23rd or the 24th. Actually, uh, see that so that there wasn't a new version. So I figured, okay, there's not going to be a new version until after Christmas. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I will have a void zone in Uralsk uh, Cat 117. Uh, not because of problem Sona, at least. Uh, there is one thing you need to remember about Promsona for Pro Mods, and that is that the ROS map mod, map file, isn't used because you have the map actually built into Promsona. At least that is how it has been in the past. I expect that it's the same on 139 as it was on 137, 136, 135, etc. Uh, so, um, and at least when I started doing tests without Promsona, using the ROS map file, uh, using also my my um, fix, my Promsona fix, cured the problems around Uralsk. So um, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm not using Promods Vanilla for this. Uh, this is just EAA and Eastern Express. I guess that makes it EEEEA. -E huh. Almost funny. Uh, yeah, sure. Lots of us use subs instead. We don't have um, we don't have uh, voiceovers in Scandinavian here. Um, my daughter, since since she spent a year in the United States, she just hates subs as well. So we don't even watch videos or movies with subs anymore. Um, in the good old days when you still could download the DivX movies. Uh, some of you know what DivX is at least. Uh, we didn't have subs either. So it's been a long time since I really needed subs. Oh, too fast. Slow down. You have 47 tons behind you. The good old days, yeah. Um, I guess I'm in the clear now, so I can confess that I had like 5,000 movies <laughs> in DivX format uh, back in the good old days, which was way more than I ever had time to watch. I don't know why, but I, I got really into it and collected a ton of movies. I don't have them anymore, by the way. The trailer, it's a standard heavy cargo uh, trailer and cargo. So it's the low boy and the transformer, 47 tons of transformer. <gasps> CJ, you got caught for file sharing. Oh, Mr. Swede. Hi, uh, CJ. Oh, uh, oh uh, I hope you've been able to pay off the fines if you got fined for it. They had pretty steep fines for it for a while. I know that I'm looking too much on the chat there, my young. Uh, can't help myself. Yeah, I, I totally agree, uh, Eggman. I really I strongly urge you all to watch all videos in their, or all movies in their original language. And if needed, use English subs as well. It, it 
really do help improve your English. We had BitTorrent, uh, we had other file sharing uh, uh, tools as well. I can't remember the name of it, but it had one where you shared out a portion of your hard drive, um, which was really bad for a lot of people who didn't understand IT because they shared their entire hard drive, uh, which included sometimes some very, very personal photos. Uh, so it's kind of fun going through people's documents folders <laughs> Ooh, on that file sharing service. Napster, that's the one, and DC++, yes, yes. Oh, it brings back the memories. Limeware, I didn't use that much. Uh, I think it's time, yeah, sure, to show you the map, because we've been doing this now for more than 40 minutes so we started down here in vladivostok uh, we had a tiny little accident over here uh, not over there over over here in tamga um and now we're almost up to kabarovsk and uh, then we're gonna spend i'm guessing we will perhaps make it to never <laughs> uh for this first haul for this f p first part and then we're going to continue all the way to moscow and then all the way to calais and then down here to san gregorio and then sometime next year to be honest we will reach moron Pirate Bay, uh, yeah, that worked for a while. I think I think Pirate Bay is still running. I'm not using it anymore. It's been several years since I stopped using it. The problem the film industry had and the reason why we had um, Pirate Bay in the first place was, of course, that we didn't have proper streaming services available uh, at acceptable prices now we do and i have like f five different ones including disney plus plus disney plus plus disney plus which is the number one for me i love pixar movies i love animated movies in general my kids do too and of course we like star wars marvel movies all of that is found on disney plus if you don't have it already get a subscription Uh, EAA will do as much <coughs> of South America as they possibly can. You then have, you don't have any roads into Mexico from South America. Uh, so there are obviously parts they will not make because there is no roads there. Uh, so do not expect to, uh, to be able to haul to Mexico anytime ever really. But um, but sure, their intention is to make all the roads as far up north as they can. Uh, what I think of Oscar's dashboard computer and Genshin's mods, mods, I haven't used them. I have no opinion on them. I'm sure they're fine. Um, sure, for those of you who only have Netflix, yeah, that's one of the reasons I have five of these different streaming services, because Netflix doesn't have all the new movies. None of them do. Uh, but combined, all these services that I have at least, more or less have all the movies that I want to watch. And I guess that's going to set me back some 50 euros a month in total. But I still think it's worth it because 
using a pirate bay instead it's kind of risky these days and the fines are hefty uh, you can even here in sweden you can even go to jail if you if you use pirate bay adult movies you don't need a streaming service for that you can find that online for free <laughs> uh, i've heard mr swede <laughs> Uh, they could use a ferry connection, but they have no plans on doing that, Tenzin. At least not to my knowledge. Kalia! Hi! Merry Christmas! Uh, I hope your Christmas was fantastic as well, Kalia. Mine sure was. I hope yours was too. Uh, now we have a tiny little problem, and that is to decide whether we should stop and rest for the night or if we should keep on going. And I'm gonna say we keep on going uh, because I kind of want to make this on time. HBO, Netflix, and Amazon, you don't have uh, Disney Plus yet, Peter? Eighty-four tons in total. My truck is not perfectly in technical state. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I t did a tiny crash. <laughs> oh, you too got the credit card bills. It's very popular among adults to get those. <laughs> I gotta say, I got presents from both my kids, and of course I just loved the, the presents they gave me. I gotta say though, my 10 year old, um, she saved up a lot of money, relatively speaking. She bought me a drone. Just a small one. Um, not, a, not a drone with a camera and things like that. None of that. But it's still a drone. And um, yeah, I have a drone now. So, um, and I was deeply impressed with her, of course. <laughs> Uh, um, I did sponsor her a little on a present that she wanted to buy to someone. She couldn't tell me who it was. Um, but yeah, a drone. Official Mikko Tapio. Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. So that's a long way from the ties that I'm used to getting. Um, she sure knows her father. I'm like a five-year-old because I, I really like using that drone. I really like uh, hauling, oh, sorry, hauling, uh, flying a drone. Uh, uh, Broke cord Twitch. Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. If I saw Danish Druck, no, I did not. Yeah, I'd love to have one with uh, with a camera on it, um, one that follows me around. Um, but they are bonkers expensive, to be honest. Even those that only costs say five hundred euros, it's way too much money. There's no way I'm gonna spend that on a drone. I mean, I enjoy flying it, the one I have indoors, uh, but. Mm. Not sure I want to spend a lot of time outdoors using a expensive drone. I'd rather spend my time in front of my PC. 
playing ETS2 and ATS instead. Oh! Slow down, but not too much. There we go. So I think, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm, I will be hauling through the night, at least for this first night we have in-game. Hi Skelman, Gary, Briol, and everyone else who joined, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very, very much. I hope you're enjoying the stream, and if you are, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so. Subscribe as well, or follow me on, um, on Twitch perhaps. Or why not subscribe on Twitch? Or perhaps even become a member on YouTube. Uh, Blue Eyed Tom, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. How much time do I spend on my PC cruise? Um, for the last two weeks, almost no time at all. Five hours in total, probably. Uh, when I don't have my kids, all my time, more or less. Hi, Files Mapper! ST Gamer and everyone else who just joined, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I don't think I'm using any sound mods, no. For these long hauls, I try to uh, keep the number of mods to a bare minimum. Reason is that, well, uh, even though things work 99% of the time, 97 99 percent of the time with additional mods i don't want to be the guy who have to skip a part of the live stream because we encounter a situation where it just crashes because of the additional mods i'm using so um on a thirty thousand kilometer haul i prefer to use as few mods as possible Now, longest convoy you could do is probably the one that we already did uh, in, I think it was in August. The um, uh, 8,000 kilometers from Iceland to Middle East. Uh, if I have any recommendations on a Volvo VNL, uh, not really, uh, at least not for if we're still talking about ETS2 and Grand Utopia. German dude pancakes? Pa dude panax? Uh, pancakes panax. Uh, thank you so much for following me on Twitch. I'm not sure what made the Duisburg Calais means, Brad Blocks. I'm gonna say maybe. Uh, how long are we gonna be sitting here? Crapper. Seems like we're gonna be sitting here for a while. No more traffic, please. Okay, get going. Move, 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 move. Move. Move, you idiot. What a jerk. go <laughs> uh, I did see that uh, SES will come with multiplayer yes um, we don't have a lot of information about it yet but I do hope they will include support for mods if they do it's more or less exactly how I wanted it to be uh, not a massive multiplayer uh, functionality uh, you'll probably be able to hold together with maybe three or four of your friends 
perhaps as many as 10, but I don't expect them to support any multiplayer mode with say 100 or 200 friends. For that, you still have to use Truckers MP. Uh, but I'm fine with being able to hold with just a few friends as long as I'm also able to use mods. And I sure look forward to it. That was a pretty badass present from uh, from SES. But we did see, we did get a first hint about it uh, with the release of um, uh, the um, video they did for was it for Easter? I think it was. They will have cars, yes, not a full man. They will have cars there. Um, I think it was for Easter or something like that, where they kind of hinted it. They had on ATS, they had two trucks joining each other. Uh, if I don't like the V8 steering wheel, did I change? Oh, I forgot to change the steering wheel. Well, there you go. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that 2021 is going to be pretty epic uh, for both ETS2 and ATS. The new DLCs that will be coming out, of course, multiplayer will be there as well. Uh, it's gonna be just fantastic. Uh, 2021 ETS 2 map combo when <laughs> that's a statement. Uh, <laughs> thank you for following me on Twitch. Yeah, that's also why I did a, have, a, have a crash earlier, because I forgot to add the V8 steering wheel. If I only had the steering wheel, I wouldn't have crashed. I'm very sure of it. There's no way I would use any uh, Project Next Generation road textures or anything like that. Graphics mods here, there's no way I'm going to do that for a 30,000 kilometer haul on two map mods that isn't officially supported by Project NG. So, no. <laughs> The map combo for this trip, Octavian and Simon, is very simple. Uh, Eastern Express, EE, and EAA. That's it. Uh, Kiki Millar, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, Eastern Express, by the way, is not compatible with any of the Russian map mods, including Romania Extended and Project Turkey. So, um, so I couldn't have made it any bigger than it is. Uh, I don't use a dashboard light mod. Um, this is just RJL. And what is included in RJL's mod. So, um, because this is not a standard SES truck, I'm using RJL's torpedo. Have I bonnet in front of me there?
have a look at that. So we have 29,484 kilometers to go. We already hauled for an hour and all we did was, as I expected, 700 kilometers. So um, not the 1,000 kilometers we would normally see on a 1 to 19 scale map. Never mind the glitch there. That is caused by by um, Eastern Express. It is not a problem caused by me combining it with uh, EAA. It's not a big problem either. So uh, we're just going to have to live with it. <gasps> You're watching me at work, Xperior. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this time it looked like mud, perhaps. Other times it will look like blood. <laughs> uh, what I'm most excited about... Um, only because we know so little about it, I, I will probably say that I'm mostly looking forward to multiplayer uh, but that is because I expect it to include support for mods um, if they at some point tells us that they will not support mods uh, I'm gonna switch and say that I'm re mostly looking forward to Iberia um, but, I mean, having multiplayer support built in is something I've been dreaming about for a very, very long time. Uh, Thanos, uh, that is a problem. You... Half of the... Half of the UK is distorted? Half of it? Seriously? Uh, there is a couple of places that will be distorted, but not because of Rowex, but rather because of the different... Uh, well, you know what? If you go to the download page for the... Um, for the map background, there you'll find a link to another page that explains exactly why uh, you have this, that kind of distortion uh, which is caused by pro mods. So the link says uh, pro mods users read here. And there you'll find all the information about why it is distorted on the map or stretched rather uh, on the map, but of course not in game. More on. Yeah, Xperior, that's kind of what I'm hoping that SES will bring with their um, multiplayer functionality support for mods. Uh, one great thing I hope we will be able to, um, to see on... Uh, uh, truckers MP as well is traffic not only other truckers but actual AI traffic as well I think that if if uh, SES is able to, to solve it maybe really do I have to pull over uh, maybe uh, truckers MP can I don't know piggyback on that uh, and allow us to have regular traffic on, on truckers MP as well Yeah, it's still 84 tons. I kind of knew that. Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay. I'm going to have to reverse it a little bit.
and now get the speed up. There we go. Uh, Olaf said that Varia will be released in the spring of 2021. He is absolutely right about that. There's no way you're going to see it in 2020. The first quarter of 2021 is the most likely release for uh, Iberia. Which puts us in February, March, which is kind of spring. Now it's always going to be the same. Uh, there's always gonna be it's always gonna be the same weight every time uh, the game doesn't um, uh, calculate the weight of uh, of the fuel you have on board so it's always gonna be the same Uh, I will say that I also look forward to 140 and the, and the new lighting system, of course. Uh, that is going to make a huge difference to uh, to how the game looks. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects your... I'm going to slow down here, just in case the game decides that you want to pull a train, drag a train in my direction, nothing there. Uh, I'm gonna go slow here as well. Uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Paolo, um, I have 96 profiles. I always use money cheats. <laughs> I've completely given up on, on not using them. Uh, so I'm not gonna say I recommend it, but um, sure. Um, I wouldn't blame you for using it. <laughs> uh, Xperior, do offensive driving like hitting other drivers or AI repeatedly, you get kicked from a host's game. Uh, I don't think so. I don't, th I don't think that's going to happen automatically. If you are playing on a hosted game, it's probably because you're hauling with friends. Your friends isn't likely going to kick you for hitting AI. Hi Min, welcome. Um, Norman, money and XP. You don't need a trillion dollars if you don't have the XP so that you can buy whatever you want to buy. <coughs> Uh, if I have a clutch pedal on my setup, yes, I'm using a manual transmission, so obviously I have a clutch. Diego, thank you for being here, buddy. We're on our way to Brazil. We will be there sometime <laughs> next year. <laughs> Except for Olaf, of course, he would kick me. Probably live stream it as well when he kicked me. <laughs> uh, the blue button light there's no blue buttons here it's just the uh, headlights so the interior light is set to blue uh, if I do that you'll see that well there we go if I've ever driven a real-life truck, Tenzin, no, I have not. Yes, I do want to do that. Maybe sometime in the future. Uh, I could float the gears, depends on your setup. If I try to do that on this setup, yeah, it kind of works. Uh, almost. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, that's how I do it too, my young. I, I use the XP money mod once. I get 10 million US dollars and then I'm, or euros, I think it is, and enough XP to get me to level 30 and then I'm good. And Kalia is obviously right. For the record, I just wanted to try it to see how it would work in game and it kind of works but it doesn't work so i will not try to float them in ets2 attila thank you very very much for your kind words i'm on my way to brazil i'll be there sometime early next year second or third of january could be sec could be even first of january actually Uh, have I ever been recognized in public, Richard? Thank God I have not. I have not. Uh, but I do have a couple of people. Um, I've never told any of my friends, any of my colleagues who I am. Some of them do know that I do youtube things, but they don't know what I'm doing and they certainly do not know my name. Uh, and two of them have actually found me and are following me here. So that's kind of awesome. Uh, but it's not like I've been anywhere and people have recognized me. That have so far not happened. And fortunately, it stays that way. <laughs> Thanos, I'm totally with you on the petition there. Please, please go ahead and do that. <laughs> maybe next year uh, second half of next year once we're allowed to uh, uh, go abroad or uh, go to other countries uh, maybe maybe I will go to a truck fest maybe some of you will be there Maybe we can meet up. Uh, that's kind of the only time I really want to be recognized. Um, when I'm off, off camera, so to speak. <laughs> My colleagues think I'm PewDiePie. I'm pretty sure they don't think I'm PewDiePie. I'm pretty sure they all know who PewDiePie is and what it looks like. And I wouldn't have any colleagues if I was PewDiePie. <laughs> I would have stopped working a long time ago if I was PewDiePie. Uh, what I'm driving, Xavier, uh, the RJL Torpedo, uh, the uh, T730. Uh, as soon as we have daylight again, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> if I was PewDiePie, I would be playing Among Us. So there's one very good reason I really, really, really don't want to be PewDiePie. I will never, ever play Among Us. And I'm pretty sure I'll never play Minecraft either. It's not the kind of games I want to play. <laughs> Moving on. You have noticed the torpedo in the Scandinavia DLC, Kalia? Oh god, I need to play more on...
I haven't seen it. I hope you're right. I hope it's not a mod you have that has added the torpedo. It would be incredible, oops, incredible news if the torpedo is actually there because that would kind of hint to a future um, mod, sorry, DLC for, for older trucks perhaps. Uh, that would be that would be huge if you have a picture of it Kalia, please post it on, on the discord I'd like to see that uh, I will <laughs> in a week or so <laughs> check it for myself to see if I can find it too Uh, truth is, Richard, I have not ever watched PewDiePie. <coughs> but from what I understand, he, at least in the past, he used to scream and be very afraid of everything. As I guess he would scream and, and yeah, if he crashed, it's just a guess. How long I've been trucking today, Rex Gamer? Uh, not that long. One hour and 17 minutes so far. Uh, I didn't do any warm up uh, trucking either. I didn't have time for that. Xperia, I'm sorry to hear that YouTube is, is ruining the picture quality. Um. Uh, Thank God we are using Restream for this then, so that you can watch it on Twitch instead. I guessed it right, Richard, so <laughs> a lot of screaming. Yeah, uh, I think you're right about Twitch being better for streaming. In any case, I'm using Restream, so I'm I'm streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. Uh, so um, if you prefer to watch this on Twitch, you do you and do Twitch. If you prefer to watch it on YouTube, it's all up to you. Uh, what uh, smartphone do you have, uh, Mahjong? <laughs> Jay, have it. How much driving you have left? You're sounding like my kids. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> I have 29,180 kilometers to go, which means that now we have finally done the first 1,000 kilometers. <laughs> How much left? Jesus. Ah. Oh. This is going to be a around 40 hours IRL, 40 hours of uh, hauling. A Samsung A21? Yes. Isn't the... Oh, that's the S20, perhaps. Uh, A21. I'm not familiar with that one, but I do know that I want the S20. Hi, Devin. It's been a very long time. Uh, I really look forward to doing this. I haven't done any live streams in two weeks now. Uh, way too long, but it's good to be back. So A21 is the A version of the S20? Why didn't I just call it the A20 then? It 
In any case, it doesn't matter if it's the A21 or the S20. Your phones are way better than mine anyway, because I still have the iPhone 8. Um, although I am thinking about ditching it and getting something else. Hi, MG Mike. I'm doing fantastic, sir. How are you doing? Well, my kids have iPhones um, 10 and 10 XS, so way better phones than I have. And truth is, I have a Samsung S8 as well, and fact is that the camera is way better on the S8 than it is on the iPhone 8. I mainly want a new... Um, phone for, for the camera, to be honest. Uh, yes, Devin, I'm holding on Eastern Express. So we're going to do Eastern Express to Europe to EAA. And that's how you make the 30,000 kilometer haul. Olaf, I hate Apple too, secretly. Uh, thing is that this is my company phone. So I can't really complain. I got it for free, so to speak. Um, and I'm still thinking about ditching it because uh, they made the move to... Um, to just monitor every web page and everything we're doing on our phones these days, which they are completely allowed to do. It's just that I prefer my personal integrity, so I'm not a big fan of that. So um, I'm thinking about simply, ouch, returning it and, um, and buy my own phone instead. Uh, the road from Eastern Express connected to Europe. There's a lot of them, Richard. There's a lot of them. Uh, so there are several places. Uh, there is a reason they chose Apple and uh, that logo they have. Uh, but I can't remember it, but there's a story behind it. Best Russian trucks for hauling in Russia, Paolo? Um, Zil 130. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it hasn't been properly updated in years now, so it's getting kind of old, uh, which is a problem with basically all the um, Russian trucks now. There is a Kamaz or a couple of Kamazes that has been updated, but <clears throat> most of them are in reality not updated since 135 perhaps uh, I do like Kamaz the Kamaz trucks are nice but I still prefer old trucks so when I say that there are no trucks updated sure there is a couple of fairly modern Kamaz trucks out there uh, but I kind of miss the old ones instead of course there are paid mods that costs around 25 euros a piece um, that you can use instead I actually have a couple of them um, 
but if you're not into paid mods, and I can't blame you if you're not, uh, you don't have a ton of options anymore. Isn't Kamal's more a M A N man truck? I thought Kamal's had teamed up with man. Or well, did they change? Or has it been Mercedes all the time? How long am I gonna stream today, Thanos? Well, I'm gonna do two streams today. I'm gonna do one. Uh, the one I'm doing now is gonna continue for another hour and a half so another 90 minutes now and then at six o'clock which is in three and a half hours oops i'll do another one part two of this uh, haul so if it's a rebadged actress i guess you say mercedes truck instead then Huh. Uh, I've not heard of Jex. I have heard of Star, but not Jex. Uh, so that's new to me. Why doesn't people make mods of these trucks? Uh, it's beyond me. Uh, I mean, it's 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 just annoying, really, when when people make uh, mods of the latest trucks already available by SCS. Do something completely different. Yelsh, sorry, still haven't heard of it. Just look at the steering wheel and dashboard, you will see it. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I, I'm not using them, they're too new, so I, I've never looked at them. <laughs> yeah, Magiris Deutsch mods are awesome, I really like them. Uh, the company is still in business, by the way. They don't make trucks anymore. Well, except fire trucks. Uh, but it's awesome that they are still in business. Uh, change to daytime. It's, you know, it's 4.15 in the morning. So we will have daytime very soon now. And changing it to daytime is something I do on a regular basis. But for this haul, I really want to make it on time. So, oh, slow down, slow down. Oof. So I, I really don't want to change it to daytime this point Devin that's the trucks that I want the old Kamazes uh, old Urals old Zills uh, just love old Soviet era trucks Uh, maybe I should. Maybe we should uh, turn up the stability a little bit. It's getting kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Maybe there instead. Uh, see, that's that's one of the things. A new version of the Man TGS from Master. Sure, it's you're probably right, Mike. It's probably an awesome truck, but it is a truck we already have, more or less. So why even create a mod for it? Why not go for something we don't have in game?
<laughs> I should be a politician. No, I really shouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut. I think for the future, uh, expect to see a lot of Chinese trucks in Europe, uh, around the globe, really. Probably even on the American markets. There's no way around it. They are coming. Oops, again. See, daylight is coming. The sun is about to get up. Give it another hour or so and we'll have proper daylight. Arger, thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. And Scott Elliott as well. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, Slavic Austrian. I'm from Sweden. Yes, I'm actually from Norway, but I've been living in Sweden for for thirty years. So yeah. Cam C. Is that Chinese trucks? I think, Devin, that one of the reasons they use them are because they are relatively easy to maintain and repair. Uh, gas mileage is probably horrible, but maybe gas is cheap there. I don't know. If I use DirectX, uh, yes, obviously. <laughs> My young, there's. Sure, you can use OpenGL, but I highly, highly recommend that you use DirectX instead. Hi, Vicky! It's been a while. Uh, yes, and XPS makes a lot of great truck mods, and I wish that more people would do what he does, because he usually, almost exclusively, do not do new trucks. He, he does trucks that SCS at least currently, aren't doing. And I just wish that more people would do that. What do you mean you're dumb, Vicky? No, you're not. You're not. It's my fault it's been a while because I haven't done any live streams in almost two weeks. Oh, look, daylight. 5.46 in the morning. So we have a full day of light in front of us, which probably will um, be enough daylight for us to um, maybe end today's first live stream as, as the sun goes down. This is very much ETS2 wiki. We're currently holding on Eastern Express, then we're going to hold through Europe before we um, move over to EAA and, and complete a haul all the way through south to north on EAA for a total of 30,000 kilometers. Um, it's not going to end today, it's going to take a while. I think that we're looking at around 13, 14 live streams. So there will probably be 13, 14 parts to this before we reach Moron in Venezuela. <laughs> Rex Gamer, shut up! We're not close to our destination. Uh, sure, let's have a look at the map, see where we are. See, this is the problem. We've been doing this for an hour and a half. We made it from Vladivostok up to Reshinsky. Ray Shik Shikins, whatever, uh, so far in one and a half hours. And I guess that we could make it to never. Uh, and then we're going to continue on 
all the way down to Europe where we are connecting here in Brest and around Lublin, Bial Bialystok to Europe. Then we have Calais. And then we're going to take the only ferry we have here down to San Gregorio and haul all the way up through EAA to Moron. So, still another 28,834 kilometers to go. Chase the sunlight? I don't think that's how the game works. <laughs> I'm not a professional though, so I might be wrong on that, but... Seriously, another vehicle inspection? Another complaint about my truck not being technically in perfect conditions, blah blah blah. Hi there, Vlad! James Brown! Oh my god, it's James Brown, everyone! Follow me on Twitch. Thank you, James. I feel good. Do 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 do. You know that I would. Do 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 do. I feel fine. Ouch. Quentin, uh, go back and watch the first 10 minutes of this live stream. I've already said that there might be a tiny surprise around Manos. <laughs> My young, you're buying the 2080 Super next year. You will not regret it. <laughs> Never say breast moron. <laughs> oh, dude, we are nerds. Uh, not in perfect state because if you look at this, you'll see that I have 2% damage to the truck, which is tire wear only. I also have 9% damage to the trailer because I am where we are going, moron. That is. <laughs> so I had a tiny little crash very early on. And that's also why we have 3% damage to the uh, cargo. Kalia, we had a tiny little crash with a train. Uh, someone was saying something on the chat. I read it, so I spent one second looking at the chat and that was enough for me to, well, have a tiny little accident. But I have taken responsibility for it. I will not do that again. I will go very slow next time we uh, are even getting close to train tracks. Cheers, everyone. What time is it where has a bone here in Sweden? It's uh, 20 minutes to 3 p.m. Uh, in game, it's 7.22 in the morning. Salty, salty, salty PC, hi. <laughs> I can almost not see your name there, Salty, because it's in blue and the background for the chat I have, the restream chat I have, is blue as well. <laughs> it's not completely broken, it's just 3%. 
sure it won't work, but it's not completely broken. <laughs> I think we're all morons, because I've already said it, this is going to take around 40 hours IRL, and I'm pretty sure some of you will be here for all the 40 hours. Heck, I think I will be here for the complete 40 hours even. Uh, so we're all morons. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Tigre Blanco. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, for Christmas, uh, we did what all Swedes do. We ate a traditional Swedish uh, Christmas dinner, which cons contains a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, how the hell do you pronounce that? Uh, I need some help here with translation. Prince Korv. <laughs> It's not called, it's not Prince Sausage, because that sounds very, very wrong. It's called something else. <laughs> um, also a lot of herring, different, uh, with different um, flavors. No surströmming, no bread. Looking forward to it, CJ. Uh, Kolarek, thank you very much, and thank you for being here. No Lutefisk either. Uh, that's Norwegian. I did not eat fermented herring. Uh, we did have salmon, but no fermented herring. Uh, I'm guessing, Kolarek, your 8,414-kilometer haul might have been from Iceland to to uh, to the Middle East. Devin, thank you for being here, buddy. Take care, and uh, maybe I'll see you again tonight or tomorrow, or the day after, or the day after. I'm going to be here every day for the next 7 to 10 days at least. Cocktail sausage. Mm could be it's not really cocktail sausage either but sure close enough uh, no farmed salmon because the environment call ya. and as long as it's farmed here in Scandinavia you can't really taste the difference I don't shoot fish, I uh, use dynamite. I think using dynamite is the correct way to, to do fishing. Uh, how many hours I have on ETS2 Mad Max? Uh, on this Steam profile that I'm using now I have 2100 hours, so not a lot. Uh, but that's 2100 hours in, in three years. Um, when I started my Wombat channel, I uh, started over with a Wombat Trucker um, uh, profile on, uh, on Steam as well. So, um, so I have two profiles on Steam. Uh, but uh, yeah, so on that profile I have 2100 hours. So it's not a lot, but um, yeah, it's better than nothing. <laughs> the best way is to drain the ocean. <laughs> you can't do that. That's horrible. Uh, Bertie Beckenauer, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, 
Uh, sure. Uh, we have, it's a familiar tradition. We, uh, we sacrificed one of our slaves. Uh, it's an old tradition we have in our family. We have slaves. So we sacrificed one of those. Um, so, sure. <laughs> it's only slaves. <laughs> For the record, I don't have slaves. <laughs> anyway. Uh, AG from Who's Corner. Been there, buddy. Uh, Rex Gamer, thank you very much for subscribing on uh, on Twitch and of course Korea. Thank you very very much for gifting another five subs. Thank you very very much. So rugged skin, Colorec. Colorec also. Thank you very much, Colorec. Uh, you guys are awesome. You like my beard? Thank you, AG Place. Uh, yeah, so I did dye it. And it's gonna stay dyed. I want it black. Uh, Simuitis, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. And thank you to those of you who uh, uh, now have subscribed as well. I pink next time. Didn't I already do that? Or was that purple? I can't remember if it was... No, it was blue. I dyed it blue once. Um, that was weird. People wouldn't stop talking about the color. Uh, some even thought there was a problem with the live stream because it was blue. So I'm not going to do that again. Only time I care about the color of anything is is when it comes to my beard. I don't want it gray. I prefer black beard. That's all I have to say. Well, I dyed it blue, Thanos, and um, people couldn't stop talking about it during the entire live stream. Thankfully, the dyeing I did wasn't permanent. It was one of these you spray on things, so it just stayed there for a couple of days. Um, but um, yeah, people actually thought there was a problem with their screens. Could also have been because. All of us at some point said that no, his beard is gray, or I can't remember if we said gray or or black. But in any way, we convinced them that the problem was on their side, <laughs> which was kind of hilarious. Yeah, Mayong, as soon as you can, move away from OpenGL. Lots of mods these days do not support OpenGL. Hi, Gavt. How are you doing? Uh, I... No, 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 AG. My blue bed, that was only during my vacation. I think it was last summer. Uh, so I didn't have blue beard at work. <laughs> that wouldn't work. No, you're not stupid, my young. 
Uh, you're not the first one, you're not the only one who have been using OpenGL. And there really didn't used to be a big difference between OpenGL and DirectX. But these days, especially since DirectX 11, there's a huge difference and there's a lot of mod creators that have just stopped supporting OpenGL. Uh, I've had five cups of coffee this morning, so I'm good on coffee. I'm sticking with water for now. I think if people see me with a pink beard, it's not breast cancer they will be thinking about, so I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, there is a DirectX add-on application uh, for Max, I think. Uh, there definitely is for Linux. Um, other than that, don't use a Mac. Get a proper PC instead. You spent your Christmas with your two sisters? That's the way to go. I spend it with my two kids instead of my entire family. Um, 2020, weirdest year ever. And hopefully the only year ever that we have to um, be separated from our families. Next year shouldn't be a problem anymore, hopefully. Hi, Crazy Mango. Uh, any thoughts on making a set of tour? Uh, it will happen at some point. Um, I watched LGR uh, the other day, uh, Lazy Game Reviews, if you're familiar with his channel. Uh, he used a very, very interesting Rode microphone. I had to look it up. Um, because there's a couple of things that I need. <laughs> need. One is a proper camera to, uh, to do the tour film. And I need to use a um, miniature microphone of some kind. And so um, he was using a Rode. Uh, or Röde microphone that I found very interesting. So I looked it up and sure enough, it's available. It's on sale here in Sweden as well. 250 euros. Just have to save up for it. <laughs> and get myself a proper uh, camera uh, as well. But I'll need all of that anyway, because if I'm going to go to a truck fest, I'm going to need a camera for that. Uh, so far, I've done all of my filming on uh, on a uh, Samsung Galaxy S8. I need something better than that for the future. So um, I need to invest more money. <laughs> yeah, I do have a road myself here, but it's it's kind of. It's too big for anything but my PC. <laughs> Xiaomi, Xiaomi, uh, Pinkito. Uh, no, I'm not going to buy a Xiaomi. Um, nothing personal against Xiaomi, really. It's just that I'm I'm a Samsung guy. Samsung, you have to call me. Very soon, Samsung. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the uh, Mi 9. It's just that uh, when it's come to security updates uh, of the software, uh, from where uh, Samsung does a way better job than basically everyone else, perhaps except Google themselves. 
So I really want a um, a Samsung phone. There's been a couple of times where we've had some really big security issues with Android. Uh, but Android isn't one operating system. It's more like 50 different operating systems. And Samsung's version of it on the S series phones is, in my opinion at least, superior to everyone else. Perhaps even including uh, Google themselves, actually. So, um, I want a Samsung. <laughs> Samantha Sung. <laughs> I had a girlfriend once. Her name was actually Samantha. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, I think UAE is banned from tele uh, UAE Telecom is banned from all of Europe and and the US of course as well. There's nothing wrong with their technology. It's just that everyone seems to be so afraid of the uh, Chinese government. Looks like one of the things you possibly could trust Apple about is that they are not working together with the CIA and FBI. On the other hand, their security is absolutely horrible. I do not trust Apple at all. The reason we don't ever hear about security issues on, on Apple devices is not because they don't exist. It's just that Apple is excellent at keeping the lid on. So every time something happens, uh, it is kept quiet and you rarely, rarely hear anything about it. So um, don't get an iPhone either. Just because you don't hear about it in the news do not mean they don't have security issues. Stick with the Nokia 3310, that do not have any security issues that I'm aware of, at least. And this used to be my field of work, by the way. Uh, I spent eight years working on mobile uh, devices and security. Yeah, I have an iPhone 8. It's a company phone. It's okay. I still want a Samsung S20. Or better. All phones do have security issues, absolutely. Um, the thing I like about uh, Android, though, is that... Well, first of all, Google is very open about it. Uh, they actually encourage you to find security holes. And they're working very hard on fixing that. And one way of being able to fix it is, of course, that it is announced. Everyone can see it. Um, so everyone will also know when they fix the problem. Another, a different problem with it is, of course, that everything moves so slowly in that ecosystem. So fixing holes, if you're relying on Google to fix them, it takes forever before they actually reach your phone. It's not because Google isn't doing their work uh, fast enough. It's just that the entire ecosystem looks like it does. So it takes forever to fix things. Uh, but... Samsung does a lot of that work by themselves, so that uh, allow them to fix the problems much faster uh, than they otherwise could. Uh, and of course, on a Samsung device, you have the option of turning a lot of different settings on and off. 
So if there's a problem with Bluetooth, uh, of course you can do that on an iPhone as well. You just turn Bluetooth off and leave it off until the problem has been fixed. The problem with iPhones is that if there's a problem with Bluetooth, you wouldn't hear about it ever. Uh, Apple would instead just release a fix for it sometime in the next four to eight to 12 weeks. Uh, where we are right now, PT, let's have a look at the map. See where we are. We are just south of Sivaki. And I still think we will make it to Never in the next hour or so. Maybe even a little bit further than that with a little bit of luck. Uh, but then, of course, we have still a very, very long way to go before we reach our destination, uh, which is all the way up there moron <laughs> your dentist doesn't like bluetooth mango oh god what a horrible joke Uh, no, I didn't work for a Swedish cybersecurity <laughs> team. Uh, no, I worked for a um, um, for a uh, LTD. With iPhone, you can downgrade if you like, Olaf. You can also upgrade to beta versions if you like. You can use whatever version you want, but of course, using the latest is probably the best thing to do. One of the reasons Xiaomi is getting uh, more expensive than other Chinese brands is because they have started updating their phones with newer versions of the OS. Um, these cheaper phones they don't do that. They don't need a department that works on updated firmwares. So that's why the phones can be cheaper. Uh, which is a very good reason why not to buy their phones, because what you buy is literally all you're ever going to get. Uh, there won't be any firmware updates ever. Yes, PT, that's the way to go. A desktop PC, not a laptop. I gotta say, we're making good progress. Uh, we've done... Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, almost 2,000 kilometers today. That is, honest to God, way better than I actually thought we would. It's only two hours into this, so we're... Well, we're still not going to make it in 30 hours, but it might not actually take 40 hours to complete this. Uh, no, I don't have position turned on. Uh, but come to think of it, maybe I should change. Uh, why didn't I do... I'm pretty sure I actually did that. Change the... There it is, the field of view. We will not be arriving at Moron tomorrow. <laughs> well, I guess we would if I would do this as one very 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 long live stream which i won't <laughs> from keto shut the fuck up dude we're twenty eight thousand kilometers away from our target <laughs> uh 
Uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't use positioning. Um, I'm not using much up or down either. I'm just using left and right, uh, mainly because <laughs> I, I think we all would be seasick if I uh, used all all three um, uh, three settings. <laughs> oh well yeah, let's just say it's gonna be a very 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 long stream if we did this as one single stream um, I mean we wouldn't even be there by tomorrow evening we're probably looking at another at least 30 hours before we reach the destination but I will say that in less than 10 days, we will have reached Moron. My GPU, uh, legit Rob, uh, RTX 2080 Ti. Uh, very old, very slow GPU these days compared to the 3090 I want. <laughs> yeah, I basically have a to a potato. <laughs> uh, Burke Alk eighteen. Sorry for murdering your name, and thank you for following me on Twitch. Ouch! Well, there's nothing wrong with a ten sixty, ten seventy, ten eighty. Um, they are basically the same as a 2060, 2070, 2080. Uh, but the 30 series, my god, they are fast. I'm not unhappy having a 2080, of course. It's just that I bought it six month, months before they announced the, the 3080 and 3070 cards. And this 3070 card costs half of what my 2080 costs. And it's faster <laughs> than my 2080. So it's, it's mainly because uh, I'm, um, I'm bitter. A little, a little bitter. Uh, how many in-game hours to go? Kendall, uh, around 400, I'd say, at least. The RTX 3080 have a view problem? Well, I still want the 3090. Well, <laughs> Kendall, this is called the world's longest haul for a reason. We're doing 30,000 kilometers. Of course, it's going to take a lot of time. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm good with it. I love doing these long hauls. Uh, I'm... Um, the last few days, I've been kind of nervous about it. Uh, because... I'm starting to doubt myself when we're getting close to to, <coughs> to the long haul. But now that we're finally doing it, ah, I'm loving this. I'm gonna enjoy every single kilometers of those 30,000 kilometers we're doing here. By the way, if you are enjoying this live stream, and I certainly hope you do, 
please give me a thumbs up. Perhaps follow me on Twitch or become a member or why not a subscriber. Um, yeah, it's entirely up to you, of course. But uh, please do. Uh, Franco, where to download this map? This is not one map. This is, uh, well, it's the base game and all the DLCs. Uh, right now we're holding on Eastern Express. You'll find a link to it. Since you're on YouTube, you'll find a link to it in the video description. Uh, it is a paid mod. Uh, but as long as you have a uh, confirmed uh, Yandex account, go ahead and buy it. Yeah, that's one of the problems, Salty. A thirty ninety is twenty two hundred dollars. <coughs> Not much more expensive than the twenty eighty Ti was when I bought it. It was like fifteen hundred euros, and the uh, thirty ninety is uh, two thousand euros. But. Of course, that one has 24 gigs ROM, whereas the 2080 Ti only has 11. And it is also more than twice as fast as the 2080. Uh, I'm an Intel guy, legit. I have a um, Intel <coughs> i9-9900K. Um, when I bought it around a year ago, it was the fastest you had. Of course, now we have the 10 series instead, 10th generation. A little bit faster, but still not enough for me to wanting a new one. I'm perfectly fine with the i9-9900K. <laughs> but Kalia, if I had a 3090, I'm pretty sure I could have avoided the train that I crashed into. So I th I'm still confident that a 3019 could have saved me there. Actually, my young, right now AMD is kind of better. Uh, I, st I still wouldn't buy AMD. I'm still going to stick with Intel, but uh, um, AMD is faster. Next year, it's probably going to be Intel. Uh, Intel probably is going to be faster than AMD next year. The year after, AMD is going to be faster than Intel again. It's just how it works. Do not break. Check me, dude. Just move on. Get out of my way. Move on. Thank you. Uh, I do have a Yandex account, Richard. Yes, I do. I even have money on it. It's easy transferring money to your Yandex account. It's very difficult getting it back. <laughs> uh, Lucy, it's been a long time since the game used only one core. The game is multi-core these days. Uh, there is a bug, or was a bug, however. So if you had a multi-core CPU, it would only use the first core. The solution then was to disable the game on the first core, which allowed it to use more than one core. So it's, it's multi-core. Yeah, but there's a lot of great Russian mods you can spend money on anyway, so... It's just too bad that it's so difficult for basically everyone to, to use these Russian mods, because it is very, very difficult, almost impossible, to get a confirmed Yandex account. 
with that said, I have not said that I have a certified Yandex account, but I do have a Yandex account and I do have money on it. Uh, the game is, I can't remember the uh, price in, in Russian pesos, uh, it's 25 euros, if I remember correctly, or the equivalent of 25 euros. If I ever go to uh, to Russia, uh, I have actually been to Russia once, St. Petersburg back in the 90s, but 80s, 80s, but that's a long time ago, way before Yandex existed. <laughs> um, I will have it confirmed, yes, but currently it isn't. Yeah, it's not called Yandex anymore. They didn't sell it, did they? They just renamed it. It's called... Um, uh, let's see. Because I have a memory like goldfish. They call it You Money. Which sound kind of Chinese. <laughs> it's Y-O-O. You Money. Punkito, remind me, where is your location? Uh, how cold it is in Sweden, my young. Uh, uh, I'm glad you're asking me today and not yesterday. Uh, it's uh, five above zero, that's Celsius. So it's it's relatively good. No snow. Yesterday it was minus three, and we had a relative lot of snow. It's global warm, warming all over the world, Bremer. I mean, 2020 is going on record as the warmest year ever. The last record was from 2014. And the new record is then set in 2020, unfortunately. My opinion on Naturalux graphics mods, I'm sure they're fine. But I most of the time I play on map combos and Naturalux and all other graphics mods for that matter, most of them at least, do not work on map combos. So I don't use them. Uh, I did use Naturalux for a short period of time. In my opinion, it's not worth the hassle. You had half a meter of snow last week. I think we had like five centimeters there in Stockholm, which is more than enough to create chaos. Uh, we're used to snow, but it always surprises anyway. Ah, Azerbaijan, Perkito. That's right. That's where you are. Um, I don't have any plans on going to Azerbaijan either. <laughs> so I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to go to um, to Russia anyway then. Uh, Siberia Xperia is not cold this year. Uh, it's very, very, relatively speaking, very, very warm. Above zero uh, in a lot of Siberia this year. Uh, this year is the warmest 
ever, at least for the last few hundred years, in Siberia. So mm. it's it's not what it li used to be like. Oops. Well, if your home country, Bartolome, is Eastern Russia, I do hope it looks like this. Uh, this is not the Kalima Road, or Kalim, Kalima Road. Let's have a look at the map. You're asking a question about geography. I don't know anything about geography. I know that we now finally have reached Never, and we reached Never about 30 minutes earlier than I thought we would which is good. Uh, maybe we'll make it to Amazar even before we end this first part of the world's longest haul. Uh, which is going to take us all the way up to Moron. Uh, where are, there we are. Yeah, Eastern Express isn't a map mod for those who prefer um, to um, to haul on a variety of of roads. Um, this is more or less what you get all across the map. Well, when I grew up, Xperia, we had, uh, on a regular basis, and I grew up in, in the southern parts of, of Norway, we had, during the winters, we had like 50 centimeters of snow, even in the southern parts. Uh, nowadays, we rarely have any snow at all there. Crazy Ness, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's like that every year. Um, but the record-breaking warm winters we're seeing every so often, they, they turn up more and more frequently. Uh, so having one year with, um, with snow doesn't prove we don't have global warming. It just proves that uh, the temperature isn't exactly the same every year. Uh, it's, it varies. But it's it's getting constantly warmer and warmer. Uh, Clear984, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I agree with Greta, Greta, but... I am concerned about the environment. I have kids. And even if you're not concerned about the environment, I see no reason to disagree with scientists about the fact that pollution isn't good for anyone, period. So even if we don't believe in global warming, uh, putting more carbon dioxide up there isn't going to help anyone. So maybe we should take better care of Mother Earth than we do. Is it tripping? Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, the pollution we have certainly isn't good for us down here. Uh, it's not good for our lungs, at least. I mean, look at look at the um, air in 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 Mexico City during the summers, in Beijing during the summers. In a lot of cities in the United States, here in Europe as well, in Russia, uh, it's 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 literally dangerous to breathe the air, and we need to do something about that. Merry Christmas, Willy Wonka. Now I need a box of chocolate again. Thank you for that. Thank you for reminding me about chocolate, Willy. Uh, through that experience, we are seeing um, 
we are seeing some uh, some positive changes regarding pollutions, probably thanks to COVID-19, but it's it's not enough. One year of better behavior isn't going to save any save the world. <laughs> Uh, I'm not great as a father. I love this game. I love trucks. I love V8s. I love uh, I have flying where I want to go. Uh, I love um, a lot of things that isn't necessarily good for the environment. It doesn't mean that I'm uh, not caring about those who will inherit our Earth. I do care about my kids and I worry about their future here. Uh, look at the wildfires in Australia, in uh, California. It is getting worse and worse every year. And it's not because they haven't been raking the forests. <laughs> There's another reason for it. <laughs> um, less water we have around the globe probably more rain now these days than we've ever had before but we don't have them in the right place uh, because the nature is protesting so it's raining where it shouldn't rain and it's snowing perhaps where it shouldn't snow and well the earth is angry maybe not everyone is agreeing with me on that but it's what I believe. I believe what I want to believe. You believe what you want to believe. Let's focus on the hall, shall we? <laughs> I have not owned a V8 car, uh, but it is on my bucket list exterior. I want a Chevrolet Corvette from 1971. One day I will own one. I just have to. And I want it with a big 5.7 liter V8. I want that big block engine in it. And um, I'm going to drive the crap out of it. There isn't necessarily a contradiction there, Olaf, because, um, well, there isn't. <laughs> uh, Rixo7036, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Another thing on my bucket list, also on and I'm proud to say this, on my oldest daughter's bucket list, a Dodge Ram. I have to have one at some point. She has to have one as well. Obviously with the biggest, baddest V8 available. I think that's the 7.1 liter engine they have for the Dodge Ram. I need to have one of those. I wish I had a Hellcat as well at some point. I probably will never be able to afford it. Um, I just love the sound of a V8. Uh, Punkito, I do have uh, notifications about YouTube subscribers as well. If you try to unsubscribe and subscribe again, that's not going to work. It's not going to set off any alarms because it doesn't register that way. Carlyle, that's absolutely horrible. If you can't afford a Ford Dodge, a Dodge and buy a Skoda. <laughs> horrible. Also brilliant, but horrible. Uh, let's see, it's, it's 11 in the evening. Let's have a quick look at the map, see if there's anywhere close where we could stop. I guess there is and uh, perhaps rest.
I like your father, Olaf. I think he has the one of the most badass trucks ever created. Nice Ferrari 365 Daytona. I could do that as well. I'll probably never be able to buy one. It's way, way, way too expensive. <coughs> uh, well, the reason I want specifically a Dodge Ram is it's just because of that awesome engine, the 7.1 liter Hemi engine. I just need one of those. It's probably not going to be the fastest thing out there. It's definitely going to be the thirstiest one, but I still want it. Just like I, I want a Dodge Viper, for God's sake, which is absolutely, completely, totally unnecessary. It's not fastest car out there. It's not handling very well. It's bloody thirsty, uh, but the sound, I mean, the sound I have to have one. Farmer, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I was gone for this long. Um, but, you know, Christmas. For my part, Christmas is officially over. My kids will spend the next 10 days with their parents, their mothers, that is. So, um... So, uh, I will be live streaming. Now we're getting some rests. Then we're going to have to refuel. And uh, then we're going to keep on going. I don't like the Mustangs, Panquito. I'm not a big fan of the Mustangs. Uh, ever since I was a little boy, I have uh, dreamt about the Corvettes. Uh, C3 is my preferred Corvette. Uh, the C5, C4s are way cheaper than a C3 today. But I always like the looks of the C3. There's something about it. And of course, since I was born in 1971, I have to have a 71 model, even though the 68 69 version of it was way more powerful most of them at least than the 71 was shelby cobra i could totally do what knows of those um i guess Wait, what? Your wife wants a Dacia MCV? Olaf. You need to take her to the doctors. She's broken. There's something wrong with her. No one wants a Dacia. Why would anyone want a Dacia? MGB Roadsters. Nice cars. Not for me though, but nice cars. The Supras are nice. I recommend you stay completely away from Dacia's, to be honest. <laughs> you need to sell your car, Olaf. Why Dacia? Of all the car manufacturers out there, why Dacia? <laughs> James May might dislike it, but seriously, um, Clarkson will give me a big fat thumbs up. Is it Dasha? Dasha? I don't care. Thank you, Olaf. I feel uh, way happier now hearing that. I shouldn't really talk. I have a Peugeot 508 myself. Station wagon, obviously. Um, 
I don't think they're selling the regular four door in Sweden at all. You only have to convince your wife. Well, tell her that I have ordered you to sell that Dacia, Olaf. That should handle it, maybe. Dacia. I guess that's the correct pronunciation then. Dacia. <laughs> Vladivostok to Chita. Is that also somewhere in the uh, northern parts of EAA? You want a Kia, Olaf? Olaf, seriously, dude, uh, you, you, you can't buy a Kia. Well, you can actually buy a Kia, come to think of it. There is one, the Stinger. You can buy the Stinger. That's an okay car. I kind of like the Stinger. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a Yugo than a Dacia. <laughs> Just because it would be kind of fun having a Yugo. Yeah, Stinger is expensive. But as I said, it's also the only Kia I'd buy if I could afford it, which I can't. Uh, no wonder they have engine recalls in the US because of the regulations, differences between Europe and the US. Uh, the engines are relatively different from the European versions of them. So uh, recalls in the US do not equal recalls in, in Europe. So, um, Kias and Hyundai's here in, in Europe, they have a pretty good reputation. I still wouldn't buy them, but um, reputation is fine. Why didn't I go for the Pan America Highway? Nine Ball, I didn't choose a route, the game chose a route for me. That's kind of the rules for the world's longest haul. I just pick a starting point and a destination and let the game decide then which route I'm taking. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's very easy otherwise to create a 100,000 kilometer haul if I go from A to B to C to D uh, across the globe. That's kind of cheating. I don't want to do that. Uh, I will not do a map combo with the Eastern Express for two reasons. Eastern Express is a paid map, map mod, which is in itself something people in general don't like. And it's also uh, a map mod that uh, is notoriously difficult to get your hands on. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, you can't combine it with pro mods. You can't combine it with any map mods in the eastern parts of Europe. Uh, so there's not a lot of things you can combine this one with. Uh, so I don't really see a reason to, for me to create a map combo with the Eastern Express. The new Kia Sportage. Isn't the Stinger a beefed up Sportage? No, it isn't. The Sportage, no, the Sportage is an SUV kind of thingy, isn't it? There we go. That's a car, Salty. Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Yes.
If you want a Mustang, go for the older ones, Olaf. Or buy the latest model. The latest model looks badass. Uh, the first few years they uh, they had the new model out. It looked kind of lame in my opinion, but Uh, oh, so it is a Kia SUV. Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like SUVs. Twenty fifteen. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> That's better, Olaf. <laughs> uh, that's the new front that I also like. Skylines, of course, beautiful. Uh, really awesome cars. Also very expensive. Chevy Bel Air? Really? Why not? I mean, they, they it's not a car for me, but I, I can totally accept it. I would... I would totally walk a couple of rounds around it if I saw one in the street. They look beautiful, but it's not a car that I want. Olaf, that's easy. The Mustang can be repaired even when you crash it. Uh, you can always sell the Mustang, buy a newer Mustang if you like. I mean, I'd keep the Mustang if I was you. Uh, honest to God. They are way easier to replace. It's not going to cost you a, a fortune if you want to sell your uh, Mustang. You can just sell it and actually get out of that relationship with that Mustang with money in your pockets. So, um, Mustang first. <laughs> Mustangs, don't get mad if you have several Mustangs. Well, if, if your wife is worth money, Olaf, I would totally sell her. Uh, otherwise, just get rid of her and uh, buy that Mustang instead. Well, yeah, I wouldn't recommend husbands either. <laughs> Wives and husbands, get rid of them. Buy yourself a car. If you don't like the car's ass anymore, just sell it and buy another one. Newer, with a more good-looking ass. No one is going to be jealous. No one is going to judge you for that. Um, you don't have to talk to your car if you don't want to. car is never going to complain it doesn't have enough colors uh, Pavlo, Pavlo the map com I'm using today is just Eastern Express and EAA together with of course, the base map and all the DLCs. Uh, and that's it. Um, mainly because EAA can't really be combined with any other map mods in Europe. Not any one that makes sense, at least for a long haul like this. Crisscross. Uh, I had a fantastic Christmas. Thank you very much. I hope you did as well. 
Uh, it was very different from all other Christmases ever. Um, so will probably um, New Year's Eve be for many of you as well. Uh, but it's it's not like it was bad in any way. In, on the contrary, it gave me an opportunity to really get to spend some time with my kids. Uh, Pavle, it's not possible to combine this map with either Pro Mods or Rust Map or Rowex or Great Step or any of those. You can't combine it with them. So no, there will not be a map combo like that ever. Oh, we're talking Mustangs again, Kalia. 64 Fastback. They are beautiful. 64, isn't that the one that was used by uh, McQueen? Didn't he have a 64? Uh, where are we now? We're just, um, we're just uh, west of Never. <laughs> we're just west of Never. It's probably pronounced Never. No, no, that's French. Moron. Um, never. 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 I don't know. Never. Anyway. The bullets, yes. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Olaf, you need to buy a bag of new jokes. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Ah, oh, crap. Now I have that on my brain. Brilliant. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to pronounce Never. Never, perhaps. Without making it sound like it's French. Never. Never. No, this is not Pro Mods. This is Eastern Express. Xperior, I have no comments whatsoever. <laughs> um, age haven't really kicked in and affected me in any way, so... Um, the only ring tools I use, I use on cars. Korea, I haven't seen any notifications about it. Did you just go and gift another sub? If you did, thank you very, very much. If I like the Roman diesel, yes, I do, but it do need an update. No, it was updated for 139. Um, but it isn't an official update, is it? Anyway, I like it. I even did a uh, review of it back on 132 or something. <laughs> Trust me, Carly, I don't want any of those rings. To you youngsters, you don't want the ring of suffer. 
So um, stay away from the marriage ring, the engagement ring, and stick to O rings instead. Uh, the Magyar's Deutsch is a very. Hang on. Oh, oh. First climb. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, so, yes, Xperior, the, uh, the Magyar's Deutsch is very exciting, of course. And the mod by um, Kirschbaum for it is probably the way to go. We're just east of uh, Never, uh, Devin, uh, and we are about 10 minutes away from ending this first part of the world's longest haul. Part two will start then in around two hours. Uh, so it's not like you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. It's just that I've decided that I will try to avoid making these 8-10 hours live streams. Um, at least for now. Maybe sometime early next year. And, as, and definitely I'll do them if we are getting close to the 5th of January and we're still not even close to our destination. Uh, I will do them. But for now, I think that um, I'm dividing the stream into to three hour sessions. Niver. Nevara. Nevara? Is that the correct pronunciation? I'm not going to feast on an Excel hamburger. Thank you very much, Xperior. I'm going to try to feast on air for the next couple of weeks i think i gained three kilos over over christmas and uh i don't want to go fat uh, i should be weighing in at around 90 kilos i'm currently weighing in at 97 <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, just three days before Christmas, I weighed in at 95, which is five kilos more than I want. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna feast on air for a while. So Nevir, is that correct, and Richard Nevir? Uh, yeah, Devin, I'm gonna go with salted there. No, sorry, uh, with mango. Uh, Kirschbaum doesn't cost money. EVR is brilliant. Absolutely. But it's also very expensive. Uh, Devin, uh, Truckers MP is not gonna be part of history. Uh, Truckers MP is still going to be around. Uh, what you get with multiplayer on uh, by SES is probably at best 10 players. If you want to do massive multiplayer, you're going to have to go with Truckers MP. <laughs> no, no, no. It should be 90 kilos, including the beards. <laughs> So I should weigh in at around 90 kilos. I currently weigh 97, um, which is two kilos more than the way that I think it was literally a week ago. Yeah, what Mango said there, I totally agree.
Yeah, I think we have the same problem, Olaf, because I used to walk like at least 10 kilometers every day. I've never been... No, that's not true. I've, I haven't been a fan of the gym for 20 years, but I at least walked for at least 10 kilometers every day, every single day, seven days a week before COVID-19. Then after COVID-19, I don't move at all. And um, that's why I'm now having problems seeing my toes. Um, I need to start moving. I actually bought a gym pass. A full year. Paid by my company, even. So now I have that. And a lot of guilt. Because they are sending me text messages. Once every second week. Reminding me that they still exist. And that I still haven't been there. I really should go there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, 90k in July, Olaf. Uh, let's make that official. Uh, I even want to go one step further and say 90 kilos by the 1st of July, so that I can proudly say on the 15th of July, which is my birthday, that I weigh 90 kilos only. Uh, Korea, I think the problem is that I do eat, uh, well, sure, that's potatoes, potato chips. I eat a lot of that. I also eat a lot of chocolate right now, uh, which, from what I hear, isn't good for you. Excellent, Olaf. It's a deal. 1st of July 2021, both Olaf and myself will weigh 90 kilos, not a gram more, preferably a few kilos less than that, of course, but we both will be down below 90 kilos by the end of June. What do you mean I could find a girlfriend, Mango? It's not like my apartment is that big. It's only 80 square meters, so I'm pretty sure I have... I know all the spots you can hide in my apartment and I promise there are no girlfriends hiding there so there's no way I'm gonna find a girlfriend anywhere uh, because I'm not leaving this place dude don't do that don't don't moron yeah, the, the gyms here in Sweden is kind of strange because a lot of them are closed. A lot of them are also not closed. Um, I'm not really sure I want to go to a gym right now anyway, regardless. Uh, we do have another lockdown Swedish style, yes. Um, but of course, it's, it's as lame as it's ever been. Uh, this year, the government uh, wanted all the stores to, uh, uh, well, not have a sale after Christmas. Uh, it was a recommendation, and it was a recommendation they made just because they don't want a lot of people to be in the same place at the same time. Traditionally, we always have these huge sales just uh, after Christmas. And since it's only a recommendation, the result is that most of the stores have sales this year as well. Uh, which means that there are more people out than we otherwise would see if they didn't have their sales. 
that's a strange thing as well, oh, oh, uh, um, Richard. <coughs> the some gyms are closed, others aren't, and again, it's a lockdown Swedish style, so it's a recommendation perhaps that they close. So some do, others don't. Yardi, Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Oops. Now, why am I pulling over here, you ask? The reason is that it's now four o'clock here. Which means that we have now reached the end of the very first part of the world's longest haul 2020. So I'm just going to park my truck over here. And uh, then I'm going to take a break. And I will be back with part two in um, two hours. There we go. There we have it. So, I guess I'll see you guys in a couple of hours, hopefully. Uh, for some of you, it might be midnight or whatever, so uh, good night. See you guys again tomorrow. Uh, but for those of you who want to, I will be back in two hours with part two of the World's Longest Haul. Uh, before we go, let's have a look at the map. We actually did very, very well. We actually did 3,000 kilometers, which is at least almost 1,000 kilometers less than I thought we would do. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy with with that. As you can see, I can't believe it. We started in Vladivostok, made it all the way up here, all the way to Navir, whatever, and all the way over here. Incredible. Uh, so we're going to continue this in two hours, and I hope to see you then. Uh, whether or not we do, thank you very much for being here. Stay safe. Uh, stay away from everyone else. And take care and um, see you guys again next time. Good night. Bye-bye.